you can walk in most of these cities with people with tattoos, and I think my tattoos are very much different. Some of the things that I have done on people, I wonder why the hell I did it. Why that was floating around inside of me, but I don't think about it very long. person's going to sit down in my chair and we discuss what we're going to do, then that person has to share in the responsibility of it. So I really divorced myself of it. Kind of like an exorcism, all those little skin shit asses, isn't it? I'm just Dave Lum. I'm tattooing what's really inside of me. There's, I don't look at the magazines or art publications within my mind that I can duplicate that. And it's, it's okay to do that. There's so many truly inspired artists in the world, both today and the past, that deserves to be put down as tattoos. It makes the person that's doing the tattoo and the wearer really happy. I really want to cultivate, I think I want to cultivate who Dave Lum is. Maybe I don't. And I definitely do want to have an influence on people what they get. I want people to have a Dave Lum tattoo. I really want that. By far. I like the bowl format. It doesn't leave any guessing when you look at the tattoo from a glance. I think that's a lot better. In my eyes, it's better. It's what I want. It seems that the market, my market here in Austin, has cultivated from putting on small tattoos to really having fun in tattooing by doing large pieces that are really creative. They're fun for myself and my customers. Original tattoos are just really nice. I don't like color. I like color a lot. I like it in life. I like it in tattoos. I look at some black and white work and it looks unfinished to me. And I have a hard time holding my tongue on some... People have really nice work, but I have it in my mind that it would be so much nicer with color in it. But color fades. You have to alter your life to, to deal with color. Yeah, and I really chew on people that get tattooed and spend a lot of money on tattoos and then go out in the sun and burn them up. I think that's a little bit on the irresponsible side, but yeah, what the hell? Mm -hmm. It is fun. I'm proud of it. I like it. Put you all the way around again. I'm gonna wear you out. I don't know why I like showing it off. I'm real lucky, you know, I tell people that live in Austin, they drive up, they don't know who's there, but they want a tattoo, and they complain about the weight, and I'll say, well, you know, he's, you know, he has a reputation now, and we tell him, you know, he's in the top ten or whatever, and, and uh, they don't understand that, and, and it's, you know, incredible that he would be here in Austin, and I would come, you know, I just came here to go to UT, and uh, just came down here like everybody else not knowing. You know, back then I didn't even know what a good tattoo would look like, and... And uh, you know, I'm real proud, and it's pretty fortunate that, you know, I, I really envy other people that don't have any work for days. But I wouldn't get tattooed by anyone else now. It's, it's kind of, it's a personal thing. It's, uh, I'm surprised other people go to Dave and then they get work by other people and they like to say that this one is so-and-so's and this one. Is, and um, I don't know what I would do if anything happened, you know, I, I'd prefer to go to Dave and, and have that look on my whole body. Because before, you know, I, really don't li I didn't like my body and, and uh, I feel better now that it's tattooed. That's why I'd like to get the rest of it tattooed. And he asked me, what part don't you like? And, you know, he says, well, we'll work on, you know, tattooing that if that's what you want to do. I feel better about my body since I'm getting it tattooed, so it's kind of strange. I really didn't picture getting, you know, tattooed on my butt, but now you know, I can see the whole thing getting done and, and I'm comfortable with it. Mike Malone's tattoo, just, I guess you call it just a tattoo, 
what high times we have truly had doing a lot of those tattoos where you feel like you're just really high for days afterwards thinking about it. We will have long sittings, obviously, and we just will have conversations and what comes up in conversation a lot of times is what becomes a reality on your skin. Mike is what I consider a real friend in this life. Mike and I have a kind of a good relationship with one another. It's a lot of my work, and especially the people that started with me, allowing me to do something that I thought was right for both of us. I gave away a lot of myself doing that. But I think I've been more than paid. He really wanted to stand out in the crowd. I think a lot of my customers want to be, want that to something a little extra. That little craziness. Crazy's got to be in there. <laughs> I don't know the way you're mad. <laughs> she hit just once in a while. I think the keys. Yeah, when it scratches, it's just <laughs> real awful odor. It smells like Can yeast it? to me. Yeah. It would smell like yeast. No, I don't know. I don't see that discharge, Mike. It can't be. All right, let's have a finger. God damn! No! Oh. Oh, you were on this side this time? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I don't give a shit. You got them pliers there? We just pull that fingernail off and do it underneath it and then put it back. How many times have you done this? <laughs> I don't know. Your bones bound to be. <laughs> I got a smaller face on it. Your finger bones. <laughs> I know one thing, but I am competing to come in. Is this a regular routine? Yeah. Yeah, it comes <laughs> off about every. You're throwing the caveman. <laughs> <laughs> Waldo's fun to be around, he's fun to tattoo. Uh, within five years, something like brand new. On the whole inside, still healing. Quite, quite new. Over. Are the eyeballs sort of a, a long... This is a Guy Atchison. Dave put it inside of a glass skull which turns into a vomiting, pregnant fish woman with stitched up titty. Vomiting onto that skull. <laughs> okay, tell me about the left arm. Uh, Bernie Luther, Dave Love, head around it. Smoke going into the nostrils of this from Bernie's into the joint on that into the, all the way up to uh, the spine. But he's throwing the web down here. Those are some mean pieces. Oh, man, it gets worse. Uh, this is Mother Earth laying face down. See that bicycle? This is back up the back her leg. She's laying face down into the valley one day. Up the arch back, all over the mountains of the breast. Into the horizon, another sun drinking the blood, two days ride. Hey, Blum. Yeah, okay. Fish getting the bug with the big tongue. There's a big one. Tongue going all the way around with a tickler head. I 
I readily admit I, I love getting high. It really drove me. This is my drug now. Because I truly get loaded on tattooing people. This is just the greatest thing to do this as a livelihood. To be able to be wild on people, to get to where you feel like you're high. And everybody has their little quirks of life, and I think that's probably mine. I'm, uh, I'm kind of a thrill seeker, and I kind of like to give people thrills. I'm certainly no Rembrandt. I'm not. Mark is fun more than really correct. I love characters. In that form of artwork, I can do things that shock, make me feel great. And if you don't get tattoos that are fun to look at, why get them? I figure if it flips my skirt, well, it's got to do wonders for society. It's got to do wonders for these people that wear them. Imagine having the body suit like Mike Malone's. If you had your entire body done that way, everybody for the rest of your life would just, their lower jaws can hit the floor when they look at it and they realize what's on that skin. Yeah. Like this tattoo here. Just a fun idea. I couldn't do this on anyone. I couldn't just arbitrarily go out and pick somebody and do this on them. This is a ton of tattoos. What I consider a privilege, because I could be just as well putting on a Black Panther, and I don't mind putting on Black Panthers. I've done a lot of them, probably will still do a lot of them in years to come. Just a lot more fun. Now, I wouldn't mind tattooing a big old black panther with a big old pink dick on some gal. That wouldn't bother me at all. Actually, I don't think I'd have any problem doing that on anyone. Myself, I'm more of a flying tent man. That's it. Oh, my butt hurts. <laughs> Look at those eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, the eyes. Bugs Bunny. <laughs> they were kind of popped out, didn't they? Oh. It got real skinny right here, Dave. <laughs> That's cute, bud. <laughs> Can't we see the blood? Yeah, no, that's gonna look awesome. That's gonna be bad. You do blood drips real well. I like my blood. Yeah, your blood drips. Yeah, I saw that stuff on Victor. That was cool, like a little white. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. We've been watching more cartoons lately. Yeah. <laughs> no, the roofing for work. Let's say one point. Okay. That wasn't painful. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, you want a solution for us? Oh, yeah, take a sticker. Oh. We're all, we're all forcefully make some takes and stickers. <laughs> all right. Uh, Lighthearted is the work of Lum, a reflection of his personality. His tattoos are also a reflection of his imagination, which is a cauldron of fertile ideas, fantastical images in a bizarre and kinky sense of humor bubbling along submerged until it erupts on someone's willing skin.